Turn your photos into 3D printed lithophanes for free. They are thin translucent prints that reveal an image when light shines through them. In this example, I will be printing a praying mantis and comparing different settings I used, showing what works and what doesn't. After dialing in my settings, I'll show you other prints. I'm using a free software from 3D Printing Rocks. I'll leave the link in the description below. We need to import an image and change our settings. The only adjustments required are image and model settings. In the image settings, I change the negative image to positive image. This allows the darker areas on your image to be thicker, instead of inverted. In the model settings, the most important features to dial in for the filament you are using is the max thickness and thinnest layer. I will start off with 0.6mm as my thinnest layer, as 0.5 and under produces print quality issues. Maybe these issues are due to fast print speeds, but really, these values require testing and depends on the filament you are using. I'm using Gray PLA Plus for these prints. You want the lowest possible value for thinnest layer to allow as much light to pass through as possible. For my thickest layer, I will be experimenting with 1.6, 1.4, and 1.2 millimeters. If the layer is too thick, it will completely block light from passing, which isn't our goal. We want a wide range of thickness to capture all the details of our image. So a range from 0.6 millimeters to 1.4 millimeters is good. Now we can refresh your model and export as an STL file. There are also other shapes to choose from, but we'll just keep it simple. In your slicer, you want to have brim for thin prints, which you can see as a dark blue first layer. Also, you want to print at slower speeds to retain image detail. I'm using 70 for my first layer and 100 for the rest. In my opinion, the 1.4mm thick print was the best quality and a good balance in contrast and detail, so I'll be sticking with these settings. In the next print, I used a meme photo of Tom and Jerry and an image from a game. This is how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. I'll see you in the next one.